Hi, it's Kelly with OC Tykes. Today I'd like to run you through the Bob Revolution Dually Stroller. Now right off the bat, many people fear double strollers, double wide strollers. First of all, assuming that they're twice as wide as their single stroller that they're used to. There is only, there's actually less than six inches difference between the single Bob Revolution and the Dually. And that's really quite common from single to double strollers. If you look at any single strollers, you're gonna find that the wheels are always pitched to the outside of the seat. And then if you look at any double stroller, you'll actually find that those wheels are pitched into the seat. So again, from the single Bob Revolution to the Dually, there is only six inches difference. So you've got about three inches on each side of your stroller and that's it. And really what you gain is just a phenomenal push. On a front to back stroller, what they've done is elongated the chassis of that stroller, which makes steering and maneuverability virtually impossible. Or when you've got the kids side by side, this stroller is really built to carry that weight and distribute it evenly. Even if you have a newborn on one side and a much heavier toddler on the other side, you're really not gonna notice a big difference, but you literally can still turn and maneuver this stroller with two fingers, even with you know 50 pounds in it. The stroller will actually hold 90 pounds of kid, which is obviously a considerable amount. Um, so just a, a great push. Um, and that's really one of the things that we love so much about the Bob Revolution is it, it, it almost feels like it's self-propelled is really one of the easiest strollers to push now push is the most important factor if you're spending a great deal of time outside just about anything is going to push fine on polished concrete at the mall your, your push is kind of less important at that point but if you do spend a lot of time outside undulating sidewalks cobblestones you know dirt trails you like to jog do different things like that then the push really becomes the biggest priority for you um, a few things that lend itself to helping the bob with that is just the overall design of the frame but the 16 inch wheel and then the full suspension that's on the bob as well really makes a big difference and again the more weight you're pushing on a stroller the more those features become pretty important um, to just continue making it such an easy stroller to push. Um, push aside, which is certainly why a lot of people go to the Bob, it really has all the features that you, you really need for even a daily stroller. Um, so many people do use it as their one and only stroller. Now typically an active family will also use it as their daily stroller. If you're activity is malls and shopping, well the Bob's probably overkill and maybe you need to look in a different direction. But if you are really active and you do a lot of stuff, then the Bob can really just carry itself over into being an everyday stroller for you. So this here is the 2011 Bob Revolution Dually. They did make quite a few changes with this whole new redesign that was just launched this year. One of the biggest changes is that Bob went to a structured seat. The previous models of the Bob had just a canopy style seat, which basically means it's just fabric. It didn't have a lot of support and structure to it. Kids are already pretty slouchy themselves, so in a canopy style seat, kids do just tend to slouch in it. There's not a lot of structure and support for their low bodies. So they went through and redesigned the whole inside of the seat, adding all this form and structure to it. There's even a lumbar support piece in the back here. Just makes it a lot more comfortable. It does allow the kids to sit a lot more comfortably in the seat. They kept the little side pockets, which is great. It's a great addition to the stroller. Nice big canopy. That hasn't changed. The hinging in the canopy has changed. The size of it has not, um, which it's always been a great. It's a big canopy. It's really a nice, nice canopy. Right at the front of the stroller here is where you will lock out for running. The wheel does lock out to the front, which helps because it acts as a bit of a shock absorber at the front. And just with the push of one little button, you have just locked yourself right into place. Um, again, for jogging, for rough terrain, things like that. Up and over and you're right back at a swivel again. Right next to the lock mechanism, you'll see this little silver dial right here. This is for tracking or alignment. So if you've got the stroller fixed out and you're jogging down a pretty straight path and you feel it's pulling one way or the other, just by spinning that little dial, it'll get you going back perfectly straight again. Another addition to the 2011, they went from a fabric uh, at the front of the footrest right here to this piece of plastic, which is just gonna help the longevity. I have seen strollers that have been bumped into walls or different things like that, and the fabric at the front would start to take, to come apart, so that plastic is just going to help with the longevity of that. So the seat recline on the 2011 Dually just cha changed slightly. It used to be a small clip at the back of the seat. Now it's just this nylon adjuster here at the side. Even just with a tiny bit of weight inside the seat with baby, you just barely pull on these and it will drop the seat right down. The seat does not recline completely flat, but honestly plenty even for a pretty small child with a little bit of head support or something in there. But it is a good, good recline to the seat, plenty for a napping. And then to pull back up, same little strap and I'm just gonna pull on it, seat goes right back up into the full upright position. 
In the 2011, Bob has also now integrated the jogging strap into the handlebar. It used to be a pretty lengthy cord that was attached down to the bottom axle of the stroller. You could get hung up in it when you weren't using it. I think it probably made a lot of people not use it, which you, you really should. Um, so it's now on this handlebar. It's really easy, accessible, easy to use when you need it and take off when you don't. They've also integrated the, this clip right here, which once I fold the stroller is going to help it lock into position, which was a great improvement as well. In the 2011 Dually, they've also increased the size of the peek-in window at the back. has made it a lot easier to see in. I've got the little Velcro strap right here. They've also added this great little mesh pocket at the top. So all I have to do is roll up my canopy window, put it right into there, and I've got this big peek-in window that I can now see what's going on and it's held up there easily. Also, Bob's got that great big canopy. Well, an older child doesn't always want to stare at the back of a canopy. So I'm often just going to be using the top part of the canopy for my older kids. And you can see all that canopy fabric drops right down into the seat. So they've got these great little straps right here. Just pull on those, Velcro them, cinch them up right to the top of the seat. And what I did is give that older child all their headroom back again. Really easy to do. I can undo those Velcros and push that right forward and I've got my full extended canopy again. So it definitely allows for a lot older, taller child to sit really comfortably in the seat. So to fold the dually is really quite simple. It's just a two-step process. I've got these little levers on each side of the handlebar. I'm going to pinch those. That'll let me take the whole top half of the stroller and push it up and over. There's a red cord right here at the base of the seat. I'm just going to give a slight tug to that cord, which just release the shocks on each side, and I'm going to bring this straight down to the ground. Now again, that jogging strap that's on the handlebar is now going to act as the lock, which is just right down there at the axle. I can clip those two pieces right together. Now the stroller is 34 pounds, uh, which really isn't that heavy. I think a lot of our kids are 34 pounds. It's more awkward than it is heavy. I'm five foot three. I can very easily lift this stroller. I think the easiest way for a woman to pick up a double stroller, a lot of men can just kind of come at it and grab the whole thing. For us, I think it's a little easier. I'm still in the same position. I haven't had to walk around it or anything from where I originally folded it. I'll just rock it right on its back here, if you can see that. Now I can grab the axle and the handlebar, and all I need to do is lift it a few inches off the ground. Now I've got my knee to help me get it the rest of the way up into the car, um, and then it slides right in on its back. So now my dirty wheels are up. Um, don't have to worry about that. When I go to take it out of the car, I slide it right back down. I drop it down on its wheels. I can reach around unclip. Personally, I like to just grab the handlebar of the stroller and shake it out like a blanket. It just opens up by itself. So the Bob Revolution has a really easy foot brake at the back of the stroller, which is right here. Easy to do even with sandals on. Just lift it right back up to disengage. These silver clips here are the quick release for your wheels. Now you don't want to buy a stroller that you're going to have to take the wheels off every single time you put it in your car. But it really is very handy if you're packing the car for a trip and you have more stuff than usual. This stroller without its wheels actually folds really small. The wheels just pop off, undo that clip right there, and the wheel pops right out put it back in and it clips right in. Now it is a tubed tire so there will be some slight maintenance on it so it is nice to know how those come out if you do ever pop a tube. Most bike shops do stock these size tubes, of course we do as well. Uh, they're really easy to switch out if, if you ever need that to be the case. Now a lot of Bob owners I think have no idea what this strap is for at the bottom of the seat. It is actually a safety strap. What this is, it's going to come right around the axle of the stroller and it's going to clip right clip right down. What this is doing is anchoring down these seats right here. So in the event that you had an accident with your stroller, it is anchoring those seats down to the frame of the stroller. You do have to unclip it before you, uh, before you fold the stroller up and then once it's back on the ground you've got to clip it down again. Um, so if you're, if you're outdoors, if you're running, you're on a dirt trail, you absolutely need to strap that thing down. There's a lot of great storage on the back of the stroller as well. You've got a seat back pocket behind each one of the seats. And then of course the low boy basket, because it is the double stroller, it's got a nice wide opening at the whole back of it here. Mm -hmm.